Next we will discuss discontinuous conduction mode of single phase fully controlled bridge rectifier with the RL load. In discontinuous conduction mode, inductance value is small and the firing angle alpha is large. Suppose alpha is equal to 90 degree. Here also during the positive half cycle, thyristors T1 and T2 are forward biased and T3, T4 are reverse biased. At alpha is equal to 90 degree, we are giving gate pulses to T1 and T2. So the supply voltage Vs. This one appearing across the RL load. So during the positive half cycle, thyristor T1, T2 conducts. And the output current increases slowly. At omega t is equal to pi, due to the presence of inductor, the current slowly reaches the zero value. So therefore, a small negative voltage appearing across the load. And also we know that during the negative half cycle, T1 and T2 are reverse biased and T3 and T4 are forward biased. At omega t is equal to pi plus alpha, firing pulses are given to T3 and T4. So this voltage VBA, this portion appearing across the load. So here T1, T2. Here T3, T4. Here also the load current increases slowly. At omega t is equal to 2 pi, due to the presence of inductor, output current decreases slowly to 0. So a negative voltage appearing across the load. So this one is T3, T4. So here also this portion appearing across. So here, this portion appearing here. So here the load current I0 is discontinuous, hence the name discontinuous conduction mode. Also we can draw Vt1, Vt2 and Vt3, Vt4 by referring the output voltage waveform V0. Here V0 average is equal to and also we know that this one is beta extinction angle beta. This one is alpha. This one is pi plus alpha. So here the V0 average is from this point to this point. That is integral alpha to beta Vm sin omega t into d omega t divided by base. Here also this waveform repeats with an interval of pi. This point to this point. So the base is pi plus alpha minus alpha pi. And the RMS value of output voltage V0 RMS is equal to root of integral alpha to beta vm square sin square omega t d omega t divided by pi thank you